as I was tuning into, as I am tuning into Stonehenge, it feels like it's being taken care of energetically, that the stones feel very alive, very active. I would love to touch one, um, but nobody can touch one here and um, at this time anymore. But on some level, having a barrier for people to not be able to go in is doing Stonehenge a service, which is really weird to say, because I'm all about uh, having things accessible, especially when it comes to sacred sites. I feel like it's our birthright. And um, because when people walk in to places like this, and it's not in reverence, Maybe they're thinking about, you know, their problems that are going on. The, the rocks will be doing service for them, actually. That it'll still be, it'll be working for them and on them. But it takes a lot of energy, and people need to come and clear them down and realign them um, to assist with them. From what my perspective is, at least, that's... I know that these... These stones are holding a very strong current of energy um, into the cosmos. I can feel it running from the earth up into the cosmos. It's super connected with the stars. Um, I know that there's a lot of spoken about with the sun, but um, uh, it's alignment with the sun. But uh, I'm also sensing that there's, uh, there's connected connections with different constellations. And um, so when people walk in to these, these spaces, these stone circles, um, what can happen is uh, um, one of my, I, I want to refer to uh, Freddie Silva because I friggin love his work. Um, and he talks about how uh, when someone walks into a stone circle that it configures to them, it configures to their energy and um, so different, I'm not sure if it was him who said this part, but different geometric um, uh, forms will begin to open. So the, the stone circle uh, will go into a different alignment for each person. Uh, maybe opening up a star for one person, a square for another. So activating different, different stones. And so to go and sit in the center, to go and... Uh, sit with a stone that you feel drawn to is a powerful thing to do so here I am there I there you go and uh, this has been a very powerful experience and blessings be to all of us um, so much gratitude for those who made this beautiful piece of <laughs> this be it's not a piece of anything it's a uh, sacred site, a sacred monument, a sacred structure, you know, they created this for the stars, you know, to connect them with the higher energetics. And it definitely feels like it's on a, a ley line. It's channeling something and um, from the earth. And uh, I believe it's the ley line that it's sitting on. It's just fascinating. So there you go.